<laughs> Sergeant Shriver was never elected to public office, but few Americans could match his life dedicated to public service. I have today signed an executive order providing for the establishment of a Peace Corps. In 1961, President Kennedy asked Shriver to lead the Peace Corps, a volunteer army of young people sent to work in developing countries. They've got to have an internal uh, motivation. They have to have an internal conviction. In 50 years, more than 200,000 Americans have served in a hundred different countries. It is Shriver's lasting legacy. Born in Maryland in 1915, Shriver worked his way through Yale University and then Yale Law School. He enlisted in the Navy during World War II and fought in the Battle of Guadalcanal. He married Eunice Kennedy, John F. Kennedy's sister, in 1953. The Shrivers settled in Chicago and had five children, including broadcaster Maria Shriver. The programs he created from the Peace, Peace Corps, Corps, Head Start, Job Corps, Vista, they are still affecting millions of people yeah. today. After the assassination of President Kennedy, Shriver surprised many by going to work for President Lyndon Johnson, for whom he led the War on Poverty. It was a time when the country was torn by the issues of Vietnam and race. We only have one war. We have a war for the freedom of people and for opportunity for all people, regardless of race, color, or creed. Thank you very much. In 1972, Shriver did run for office as the vice presidential candidate and running mate of George McGovern. He made his own bid to become the Democratic presidential nominee in 1976 and embraced the Kennedy family tradition. The cure will come from honest, truthful leadership that summons the best in us, as we remember John Kennedy once did. In subsequent years, he worked with his wife Eunice to expand the Special Olympics. I believe in change. Yeah. Eunice died in 2009. Sergeant Shriver. In 1994, the he received the Presidential Corps Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor from President Bill Clinton. In 2003, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. I want to shake your hand. In one of his last public appearances, he demonstrated his unending belief in the power of public service, born years before with the Peace Corps. So I recommend now that we should unleash the power of young people in all nations to see the world for what it is now and inspire them to join us in changing that world for the better. Sergeant Shriver was 95.